In the last presentation, we saw what is D flip flop and how to get a D flip flop using the SR flip flop that I made here. I have complemented the inputs. The reason for this I explained in the last presentation that you can follow. At the end of that presentation, we deduce the truth table for the D flip flop that I made here. You are having your clock whenever the clock is low whatever be the value of d your output is not going to be affected it will have the previous value stored in it similarly when your clock is high d is low the output will be low clock is high d is high the output will be high a very simple truth table to follow now by using this truth table we are going to have our characteristic table like we did in the sr flip flop you already know in characteristic table we have our output as the next state so let's make this characteristic table the next state will depend on the input as well as the previous state so our previous state is qn and the input is d and my output is qn plus 1 next state two inputs four possible combinations so let us first write down the combinations 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 okay now let's try to find out the value for qn plus 1 by using this truth table when d is 0 it means your qn plus 1 is 0 so it is simply 0 when d is 1 it means qn plus 1 is 1 so it's simply 1 again when d is 0 it's 0 and when d is 1 it's 1 so one thing that you can see from this characteristic table is that your qn plus 1 next state is going to be same as your d the data input so that's what we have evaluated from our characteristic table now it's time to move to our excitation table in excitation table the two inputs are qn and qn plus 1 okay and the output is d now by this characteristic table you can directly write the value for d but i'm not going to do that i will tell you at the end that how you could have written the values directly but we will try to find out so 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 when qn and qn plus 1 both are 0 it means this case your d is 0 and uh, when qn is 0 qn plus 1 is 1 which means let me change the color which means this case your d is 1 and when your qn is 1 qn plus 1 is 0 which means this case again your d is 0 and till now you have seen that d is equal to qn plus 1 that i have already evaluated and for the last case also your d is equal to qn plus 1 so 1 so this is all that you need to know about the characteristic table and the excitation table for the d flip flop it's better to remember that qn plus 1 is same as d and uh, i'm telling you this thing because when you do the flip flop conversions and the designing of your counters you're going to require this knowledge very frequently every time you cannot make your characteristic table and excitation table by using the truth table you don't have that much time if they ask in question you have to convert jk flip flop to d flip flop then you must know this values in the next presentation we are going to do a very important topic that is your jk flip-flop in this jk flip-flop we will discuss the master slave operation as well as the race around condition a very important question for your exam as well as your interviews so see you in the next presentation